What's up everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. All right guys, today I wanted to make a video talking about Kratom and the number two ways I see people getting in trouble with Kratom or building an unhealthy relationship with Kratom. Before I start guys, you need to know I'm not a doctor. Nothing on this channel is medical advice. If you're struggling with addiction, please seek out your own medical doctor. Okay guys, this is for entertainment purposes only. So over all my years um, in this addiction lifestyle, I've been on opiates, Suboxone, Kratom, Sublocade, right? I've, I have many years experience with all of the above, <laughs> unfortunately. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just saying that I've been in this lifestyle for many years. I've had this YouTube channel now for four or five years. I have seen hundreds, thousands of comments talking to many different people about their Kratom use and abuse. This channel is not to be for or against a Kratom, more so just to spread information and experiences uh, uh, with Kratom when it comes to do with Kratom. So that being said, this will be a shorter video. Don't worry, it's not going to be no four hour live stream like we occasionally do here on this channel, usually on Wednesdays. <laughs> so, all right, the first thing I would say that um, the number, not number one, but number one thing that I see um, becoming an issue for people is for them not keeping track, them not learning how to measure and track their doses, right? They just, they're free taking this stuff, they're reaching into a bag, grabbing a bunch of capsules, chugging it down with orange juice or scooping the powder, right? Um, it's known that if you take it in the powder form, it gets into your blood very uh, much quicker than if you take the capsules. So it kind of seems like a lot of people will start with the capsules and then when that starts to not work as efficiently or as quickly as they want it to, then they'll kind of graduate to taking the uh, scooping out uh, powdered Kratom, right? And then when that starts to not work good enough because their tolerance is escalating, they graduate to the Kratom shots, right? At the gas station. Um, so be aware of these things, guys, right? It's, it's one thing to take a couple of Kratom capsules a day, but it's a totally different thing to be scooping out this stuff into your protein sh shake all day or chasing it with um, orange juice all day, right? And it's a totally different thing to be going and buying two or three of those $15 Kratom shops at the gas station or the smoke shop each day. So the, that's definitely the a big thing that I see people, they don't understand how to measure, they're not keeping track of their doses and what's gonna happen under under um, like underlying right without them even noticing more than likely is that they're starting to take more and why do they take more because their tolerance starts to build why does their tolerance build because they're taking it several times a day every day right guys so something to think about if you're not learn if you don't know how to measure your doses do some quick research on google it will tell you exactly what capsule size is what dose um, what teaspoon or tablespoon is what dose, like learn this stuff, keep a little calendar, keep track of it, at least check in on it every once in a while and keep track of your doses. Make sure that you're not escalating because more often than not, a lot of people are gonna use Kratom recreationally and what's gonna happen with that is that their doses are gonna continue escalating, right? So the uh, second thing that I would say, guys, is that if you're chasing a high or you're chasing the dragon, so to speak, and if you're one of those people that is going to tell me that there's there's no recreational use with Kratom, then please don't even bother commenting because we're not even we're not even on the same wavelength, okay, as far as that goes, because it's well known that people can seek recreational um, use with Kratom if you take enough, right? Uh, so yeah, if you're chasing a high, guys, what that's going to do is you're going to keep taking Kratom more and more, and it's going to be just like I talked about a little bit earlier, is you're going to go keep going and taking more and more to chase, because your body's getting the dependence to Kratom now, so it's now going to take more and more each time you take it, so that's pretty much the number two, that's the two ways that I see the most people getting in trouble with Kratom, guys, so if you're maybe new to Kratom, if you're considering Kratom, just know that you need to be warned that many, many people on this channel have shared with me that Kratom has quote unquote ruined their life, okay? So as long as you know that Kratom comes with a very strong warning box, <laughs> I'm giving you the warning right here on this channel. 
Um, use responsibly. Um, I think it can help a lot of people, especially as, when it comes to getting people out of withdrawal. Like uh, let's say if they run out of their Suboxone early or they're trying to get out of the um, street opiate addiction, the, the, the fentanyl and opiates from the streets, definitely get on Kratom. That will definitely help you. But I definitely do suggest buprenorphine, Suboxone, um, sublocate shot way before Kratom. And that's just my personal, uh, experience and opinion. Okay, guys, you might, you guys might think something totally different and that's okay. I always welcome, um, comments on this channel. If you disagree, just make sure that you're respectful or else I'll just delete the comment and block. If you're rude to me, I'll just block your, your name altogether. So I won't ever have to see that again. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, if you guys think, if you guys think differently from what I what I said, please leave me some comments and let me know what you guys think. If you guys think you could pretty much agree with this, then let me know as well. If there's something else I missed for other people um, possibly considering using Kratom in the future, please leave them whatever comments or suggestions you can about this. If you have a warning of your own, is something that I missed, um, other ways that people can get in quick trouble with Kratom, please let the people know going forward, okay? I know we have a lot of Kratom users on this channel. So I'm expecting to see some comments in the comment section. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Don't forget to hit that like button, baby.